Today I'm having a very beautiful lady and uh, here she is. Kindly introduce yourself. I'm Masia Kini from Masena University, taking education science. Yeah. Out here. Second year. Second year. Oh, that's nice. So, Masia, uh, have you ever engaged yourself in any type of relationship? Yes. Yeah. How about it? Um, let's see. It was partly good, partly bad. Partly good, partly bad. Yeah. Now let's go. Let's talk about the good side of your relationship. Tell us more about it. The good side of having a relationship is that you always have that person with you. Like, he's always there, committed. He's not like a friend that will leave you. Maybe that person is always there for you. That's the good side of having a relationship. And mine, it really started nicely. And I was very happy because it was my first love. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Then we're talking about it having the good side and the bad side. Yeah. And I get to hear more of the bad side. Yeah. The bad side is that when someone doesn't value you in a relationship, like someone doesn't have the value of you in a relationship and someone takes you for granted. Let's say, like, you know, many people don't understand. Maybe when you meet someone today, the purpose of the relationship is it's better a relationship to be short and sweet than to be long and bitter. That's my take. Because when we focus it on, we can date for two weeks and I'm happy. But when you focus on your date like for three years and it has a lot of quarrels and everything, then it's for nothing. For my part is that the person I dated never knew the value of me. And they really didn't get to know that person very much because we met through a friend we dated. Then after the good side, I never came to see the bad side of him. Wait, got violent. Yeah. Violent. Okay. So let's come to like you used to have fights each and every time, or uh, because of some issues. Did he ever cheat or something? The like first, I think that on my side, I think I never had my freedom. You know, there's a difference between marriage and being a girlfriend and a boyfriend. Yeah. If you're a girlfriend, you have your own freedom. Someone should not suppress you, you shouldn't be suppressed. It's like you're locked in something, and that's how I felt. Like he didn't support me in the things I wanted to do. Yeah. Okay, so you're talking about him getting violent and not supporting you. Mm -hmm. How long did you guys have such issues and how did you solve them? Let's see, he used to have a like, Talking about freedom is like, you know, many guys on their part, he has the right to text another chick, but me don't have a right to text. Even if it's a boy or a friend, but on his part, it's okay, but on my part it's not okay. Yeah. So major issues with this, hey girl, talk, him talking to other girls on phone. Yeah. Not in a nice way, flirting and that stuff. Yeah. And then, uh, why did he come to meet you up? My experience with, with him, it was really, it was really nice and so sweet. Like it's everything I ever wanted, but. I think I didn't know his character well. He was a short tempered person. So, my experience with relationship was kind of, I see, violent abuse and also physical. Yeah. Because, like, he's a person that will get angry easily. And you know, when someone is taken by anger, that person can do anything. And for my case, I didn't know. This, that's why it got to a point where it became physical. Because there was a part I used to ask him 
Una text nani, hizi texts za nani nini nini. He doesn't want to say that. Or maybe he gets angry when he talk to another guy. So all of that mixed up. When they just confronted him, he got too angry and he started just like beating me, slapping me. But for me, I loved him too much. That even when he did one mistake, I said he could change and take me back. And so we continued and everything continued. Like he didn't change. He told him he had anger issues and he needed to control it. But he didn't change. And so one day he just said, it's too much, I'm too young to be a victim of violence at my age. And he said it to walk out. Yeah. How long did you stay in this abusive relationship? Mm -hmm. Like even the good part. Like you know, it's the a time from the time when he started to become violent, like he became a different person than the person you knew, the person who has clouds. The very time he started to be violent. Yeah. How long did it take? For half a year. Yeah. Half a year. Yeah. You just did persevere all the all the things yeah. you did. Because when you love someone, you keep believing he'll change, he'll change. But when you still sort of find, if you love yourself too much, you just go and pack your things and go. For six good months. Yeah. Like, what made you decide to pack your things too? Mm -hmm. First, I'm young. I'm only 20. And I love myself too much to be beaten with someone else. Yeah. And they decided I'm not gonna be a victim of violence, but I'm gonna be a victor. Yeah. So right now, are you in a relationship? No, I'm not in a relationship. Why? I think that everyone has a healing process. Mine might take longer, yours might take a shorter time. But I prefer that I just take my healing process and just take all the time I need. Take all the courage I need to love again. Yeah. How do you know? Have you? Uh, is the healing process taking you? I can't say it. It has been months. Yeah. Months. You can count number of times. When did you break up? Last year, November. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Uh, so, what's your take on campus love? As an individual, your experience, your experience is different from mine. And yeah. I believe they're all different people. But once you love someone, love the person for who or she, for the person he is or she is. And also, you should be very careful. Take your time to study that person. Know his weaknesses, know when he gets angry, to what extent he can do, because you never know. Love is, not, love is not something that you're taught, it's something that we experience. And as we are very young people in campus, we grow up and we can make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Okay. That was Marcy talking and uh, she has said, love that person for who he is or she is. Take your time to know the person. Take your time to know the person and with that you'll get to help yourself. And also from Mercy's experience it was painful. Girls out there don't entertain the guys who mistreat you. It's not good. Heard from Mercy. And Mercy, what will you tell young girls out there? To the girls out there, love yourself because at the end of the day it's you. If you love yourself, you won't let anyone hurt you. you. Won't let anyone do anything bad to you. And to the way that they are, learn to value what you have. Because you never know the value of what you have till you let it go.